Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with the Boathouse Group. Today we are at the parts department at the Boathouse in Naples and we're going to kind of go over some of the things a new boat buyer may want to add to their boat to help make boating more enjoyable. Some different accessories and stuff like that that a lot of our customers end up adding or acquiring over the lifetime of boat ownership, like I said, just to make their boating easier and uh, a little more user friendly. So follow me in and uh, let's take a look. So I'll start out first thing on this wall. Anytime you purchase a new boat through the boathouse, you're gonna get two new dock lines. Some people like to have an additional two to make it four on their boat. Some people like longer dock lines, thicker dock lines. So we do sell a complete assortment of different colors and styles. My personal favorite are probably gonna be something like the 3 8 or half inch by 20 foot. Um, I personally like a little bit darker lines like the blues or the blacks, just because in our area we have so much salt water and moisture in the air that does cause different mold growth and stuff like that your white lines will get deteriorated a little bit quicker than a darker line would. Same thing goes, we also recommend getting a couple bumpers. A lot of times for most boaters, two bumpers will be plenty. A lot of your docks in the area are either gonna be floating docks or have different bumper guards on the sides of them. That you don't tend to use your, your bumpers when you're pulling up to docks. It's more gonna be boat to boat if you're hanging out with a group of people or something along those lines. So depending on the size of your boat again, We've got five and a half inch, six and a half inch, and again, I'd recommend going with something a little bit darker like the blacks or the blues. My personal favorite are gonna be your six and a half. They give you enough size to keep those boats away from you, but they're not overly large that you're tr having trouble finding a place to store them when, when they're not in use. Because as everybody knows, one of the biggest problems people have with boats is having enough storage. We end up acquiring so much stuff, putting so much stuff on the boat that you run out of storage. So dock lines and bumpers are always a really good addition to have. Another thing to add, like I was talking to you guys about earlier in the, when we were talking about cleaning a boat, I mentioned getting an extendable um, actual pole. Nice part about this is we're in the cleaning video, we we're showing you how to use it with your different brush ends. Well, you can also put different boat hook ends on it as well. The nice part about that is gonna be you're not having multiple poles on the boat. You've got one to use and you can swap out different ends. So you could do something like this universal boat hook that'll act then as a boat hook to help push you off of a dock, pull you in closer to a dock, whatever you need at that point in time. So that is always a really good option. And then like we talked about, I was showing you before, some different brushes, whether it be a soft, medium, hard, so on and so forth there. Um, you can also get different mops to kind of mop up any water, chamois mops to mop up any water on the boat after you're done. Um, but that's some personal preference. Some people just let their boat air dry from there. Another thing that you're gonna get when you purchase a boat through us is you're gonna get four life vests on the boat. We also stock a abundance of additional life vests if you wanna get any additional to keep on there because you do need one life vest per person. So um, we do stock these at all, all of our locations at the boathouse to make sure you've got everything you need. Another big question people have is when they are buying a trailer with their boat as well. When it comes to trailering, we're gonna have two different type of ball sizes for most of our boats that we sell. We're either gonna have the two inch ball or the two and five sixteenths inch ball. Those are our two most popular. I would just check with your salesperson to see exactly what size ball that's gonna be. But one of those two are gonna be your, your, your pick most of the time. And then the other thing you're gonna need is a seven to five way pin. On all of our trailers that have brakes, it's gonna be a five way plug. Most vehicles either have a four or a seven way plug uh, built into the vehicle. So this converts it then to that five way pin for you. So make sure you have one of these. And again, if you don't have one, we typically stock them in a couple different styles to make sure we got what you need to get boating. So that's talking about a lot of just your little accessories, trailer accessories you're gonna need. The other portion I like to talk about is just a little bit of the maintenance items, whether that be cleaning, fuel additives, um, corrosion protection, items like that. So one of the things I do recommend to all my customers is picking up a bottle of the Yamaha Ring Free uh, Plus, which is a fuel additive, fuel stabilizer. Plus it's gonna coat um, a lot of the items in your motor just to help that run cleaner, run longer, just be a you know better running motor. 
Another, another item that was talking about was Corrosion. Um, Corrosion X is a good product. Yamaha makes a product similar to it. It's great for just spraying off some different terminals, um, different parts in the motor if you're going to do any, any type of maintenance yourself. It's a product that we're going to use any type of service that we do on your boat. So it's just good to help. It's really great for killing rust and corrosion, whether that be on a terminal end, on a piece of stainless, uh, so on and so forth from there. We've also got items like your cleaning supplies, whether that be Spray 9, which is going to be a degreaser to help with those problem areas as you're washing your boat. Um, different boat soaps, boat soaps with waxes built in. Plenty of different options in all of our parts department. But like I mentioned, a lot of these accessories are just to help with the longevity of your boat and the comfort when it comes to boating. It's always nice on a windier day if you've got a boat hook to kind of help you pull yourself into a dock. If you pull up to a dock at a restaurant and you're going, man, I really don't like this spot because of something sticking out or the dock edge doesn't look that nice, throw out a couple bumpers. Um, if it is windy and you, and you need more than two dock lines to tie yourself up, a couple extra dock lines, it just helps give you that peace of mind and enjoy your day out in the water. So. If you have any questions on any of these accessories, please stop in any of our parts departments, any of our sales departments, and ask us questions. We're here to help, and we look forward to seeing you on the water. Thanks. Bye.